Hello guys and welcome back to Sea of Thieves. In today's episode we'll be taking a more in-depth look at barrels. Yes, everybody's favorite, the gunpowder barrel. These are an extremely essential part of taking down enemy vessels, especially ones that uh, are either better than you or the ones that, um, let's just say it'll definitely give you the upper hand. Alright, so we're going to start off today by testing the exact range of these barrels. So, uh, we're going to start by case, yeah, paces, and we're going to start at 15, I think. I'm going to need to drive this boat up a little closer, give me a second. Alright, and now that we have the boat in place we go ahead and start counting out the paces. So this is essentially one pace away from the boat. So, we're heading directly away from the boat. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Alright, this is fifteen paces exactly. Boat to rock, fifteen paces. So we grab our explosive barrel, set it up at the rock, about right. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead, head over here, and. Oh, we pushed our boat. See if we put any holes in it. Shouldn't. Uh, note that explosive barrels were, in fact, updated uh, at some point, and they have changed a few things about them. Now, they haven't been too significant. One, they did add a fuse, as I'm sure you've all seen. But, um. It also made it where it used to be, if you got any damage at all, you would get all four holes from them. Now they appear to have changed that to where it's based on how much of the boat the explosive radius actually reaches. Alright. 15 didn't put any holes in us. Let's see if 10 does. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab another one of these barrels. here. There we go. Ten paces. Looks significantly closer than last time, as it should. It's a third of the way closer. I'll just go ahead and shoot this. Alright, let's see if ten paces put any holes in us. No, it does not. So at ten paces exactly, it will not put a hole in your sleep. Alright, good thing to keep in mind. Now we will be trying, hmm, let's go with eight paces away. I feel like we're getting close to putting some holes in this thing. Alright, so here we go. Alright, we have eight paces right here. Get to mark it. There we go. Drop that right on the mark. Alright, we have a barrel from eight paces away. Will it put holes in our little sleep? No, eight paces away, in fact, does not put holes in your sleep. Alright. Man, that's, that's significantly closer than I thought we would be. Alright, let's see if we can put some holes in it at five paces away. Yeah, actually, let's do six. I think six is probably a good threshold. It used to be twelve. So they seem to have lowered that in the previous tests. Note that my tests are from months before this video is going to be released. They came from before Hungering Deep. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and run over here. So we'll find another barrel. Love kill hole. Ton of barrels all the time. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and test this from five paces away. Alright, sleep versus barrel. Five paces. Okay, I heard something break in there. Oh yeah. We, in fact, got all of the holes at five paces. You know what this means? We gotta try a hole six paces away. We gotta find out what this threshold is, right? So it is somewhere between five and s 
uh, eight paces. So, let's see what six paces will do for us. Wild guess, we're probably going to get some holes. Alright, this will be a test from seven paces. We have a barrel exactly seven paces away from our little sloop. Let's see how it does. Oh, I heard something break. We in fact got one hole from seven paces. So that means that your threshold would be about seven and a half paces as far as not getting any holes. Alright. So, because this front hole is the only one within the blast radius, it's the only one that we got a hole in. It appears that at seven and a half paces or so you will not take any damage, and at seven paces you will take one hole on a sloop, or however many holes it will be on a galleon, probably two, and same on a brig, probably two, If assuming that they're within the blast radius. Now, these two holes next to it you'll notice do not get burst open at the seven mark, probably because if I was to move it down to six, we'd probably get three holes. So, we'll go ahead and test that now. Alright, now I've got one of the last barrels on the island. We should be able to test the last thing we need to test. These six paces away. Alright, so let's go ahead and count them out. Explosive barrel, six paces. Alright, that should have put some holes in us. Let's go find out. Oh, yep, I hear the water. The three holes as predicted. Yes, in fact, it was. Alright, so this does have a circular blast radius now. That will do as many holes of damage as there are hole spots within the blast radius. Maximum at four. Alright, so there you have it. At five paces, you will get all the holes on the sleep. If you are at six paces, you will get three of the holes. And if you are at seven paces you'll get one hole. If you are at seven and a half to eight paces you will get no holes. Also, I have no idea how I got these holes in the back. It is probably from hitting the shoreline. Alright, so now that we know the basics and mechanics of these wonderful explosive barrels, I will show you guys some of the things that you can do with them. Alright, and this is a crappy rendition of what you're about to see in this next fight where I set a time depth charge underneath an enemy vessel in order to sink them. So, essentially what the plan is, is if this is the enemy vessel right here, and this is us, I set this, our ship is going to sail up next to them and keep sailing past them. And while we're sailing past them, I went ahead and jumped off down here. And when I jumped off, I brought a barrel with me. Now, barrel. So, this barrel went from here and went up and blew up their ship. Well, that was going up slowly. I went over here, went up the ladder on the back side, of course, and then went straight forward after killing their pirate legend here. Kept going, killed their guy here, uh, got ready to drop their anchor, and f battled their other guy right around here. Now, what you're going to want to do in this situation is optionally kill everyone on board and drop their anchor before the barrel blows up. I ended up getting knocked off the boat, so I healed, went back up again, and kept healing up there, and made sure they sank. That's pretty much the whole thing, so we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Oh, they trying to shoot us. Oh, they shot me off the boat, they shot me off the boat, they shot me off the boat. Yeah, oh yeah, we're both off. Just you left. Keg Killed him. Uh, Good. Uh, uh. Kill the second. put the keg under the boat. You put the keg under the boat. All right, and boom. Good job. Good job. I'm on their boat. I'm on their boat. I'm trying to get on their boat. I'm almost dead. Oh, they're they're French. Oh wait, that's you. Okay. I know. They're done, they're done. Yep, they're down. Oh, Is that our boat sinking or their boat? this battle what essentially happened is we have the enemy ship right here and my ship right here now 
I was by myself, so I'm going to have my ship sail up right next to him and keep going by while I jump off with an explosive barrel. So, that's essentially what I did, is I jumped right off down here and got beneath him. Now, as I did that, he dropped the sails. When he dropped the sails, I ended up having to improvise, and whenever somebody is moving and you don't have time to get on board or drop the barrel in front of the ship, which would be optimal, I, you're going to want to start up the timer. So I did, and it ended up blowing up with me attached to it still back here. Now this uh, is not optimal, but it did do enough damage to sink him, as you're about to witness. Alright, and a quick side note here, we have another explosive barrel. And uh, there's a five second timer that I forgot to mention, so you have exactly five seconds before you blow up. To cancel it, hit the other trigger or the other click. I believe it is the right click to arm it. Sorry. The left click to arm it, the right trigger to arm it, and the left uh, trigger to disarm it, and the right click to disarm it. Alright. So, let's go ahead and stick the timer up on the screen. There you have it. Five seconds till you blow up. Alright, so that's all of the sizzling noises it'll make, or the different tones. So go ahead and keep those in mind. Alright, and back to your demonstration of blowing people up. Alright, and as you can see, that one explosive barrel was in fact enough to sink them. I just spawned back in, killed him when he boarded my ship, and that explosive barrel did sink him. There's his chest right there, which I'm going to go pick up. Alright, and one of the best ways to get barrels would be from the fort, and there's also these guys. So skeletons holding explosive barrels can be shot in the legs for explosive barrels. That would be the easiest way to get them when you're not at a fort. Alright, and the last method that I'm going to talk about today for dealing with people using barrels is to go ahead and hit them with your barrel, preferably the version where you have your barrel underneath and it goes up, and you climb up while it's going up, and then you just go straight up to their crow's nest and start dropping their barrels down from there. <coughs> Once you've done that, they're pretty much screwed, and it's pretty hard to stop them, so that would probably the optimal method of sinking people with barrels. Alright, so what I did here was I went underneath an enemy vessel and dropped the barrel just as we had discussed in the previous little rendition. I went straight up the ladder while they weren't looking, went up right up the, to the crow's nest, and you can hear it just blew up. Coming up some more, and I can hear him repairing but on there, but I don't have to worry about that, because while they're repairing, if I drop this, it'll kill him. So I don't have to worry about them anymore, more than likely. If n if I do have to worry about them on their hand, we should always check. Since there's heard a splash, I guess one of them is still alive. So go down and kill him. Alright, thank you guys for so much for watching today. If you guys liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And this, most importantly, tells me that Sea of Thieves is a series that you find helpful and want to see continued. Also, if you want to see one of our Sea of Thieves or related playlists, please click to the left. And if you want to see our newest video, click to the right.